This tutorial will show you how to use combo box. Um, make sure you add uh, package in front of FXML documents. Okay, I will add uh, one combo box. Let me just rename uh, OK button. Then uh, remove label. Okay, combo combo box. And then one text area. For combo box, I will use a prefix called Cibo. I will name it um, as CBO items for combo box. Then uh, TA information for text field. Now we we'll make a new controller. Then, uh, as you can see. Um, there's all label and all implementation. Um, I will just remove it. Combo box, uh, we're going to use a string value, so let me change the string. We can add individual items to combo box one by one. Then uh, I will show you how to add multiple uh, items at once. Uh, next one, we we go back to handle both direction method. Get the um, get the select the items in in this combo box. Uh, in this case, we will return three items at once to um, TA information text area. Okay, now we focus on uh, returning index value 
of a selected item. So if you select the first item, it will return index value 0. And if you select the second item, uh, it will return number 1, and so on. So if you select the first item, you will return 0. Um, I think it's a bit difficult to read, so I may need to add new line. But at least uh, you can see index value 0 and 1 and 2. It is also um, necessary to get um, item name. Uh, for example, when you print a receipt, you may like to print the name of the item. Uh, to get the item name, we use a method name called uh, get selected item, which is a string value, so it is not necessary to do typecasting here. Okay, now I show you how to add uh, multiple items at once. Uh, it says combo items, get items, add all, so you can add multiple items. Uh, I try to use item number 7, 8, 9, 10.
if you know the initial items at the beginning, uh, you may be able to use observer list, which is very common in uh, JavaFX. So you can create a private array, then you can add a private array to observer list, then you can make it available for your uh, combo box. It is pretty much same as uh, using choice box. Now you can declare observable list. Uh, you may need to import two classes. Um, both of them um, belongs to JavaFX collections class. So one of them is observable list, and another one is FX collections. Because your observable list has the same data type, in this case string, then uh, we can make a link with. Uh, private array called drink items. Um, let me add some comments for you. Then. Now we go to initialize methods to add uh, observable list so that uh, item number one to three will appear with uh, combo box. Okay, let's test it. Um, item number two. See, so I can see uh, number one and uh, item number two. Then uh, everything seems okay. That's all.